हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद पार्ट फोर ऑफ टेन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स इन विच वी विल टॉक अबाउट प्रिंसिपल नंबर थर्ड व्हिच इज रैशनल पीपल थिंक एट द मार्जिन इकोनमिस्ट नॉर्मली एज्यूम दैट पीपल आर रैशनल rational people systematically and purposefully do the best they can to achieve their objectives given the available opportunities rational people know that decisions in life are rarely black and white but usually involve shades of gray that is somewhat between black and white For example at dinner time the decision you face is not between fasting or eating like a pig but whether to take that extra spoonful of mashed tomatoes another example when exams roll around your decision is not between blowing them off or studying 24 hours a day but whether to spend an extra hour reviewing your notes instead of watching tv right economist use the term marginal changes to describe small incremental adjustment to an existing plan of action keep in mind that margin means edge so marginal changes are adjustment around the edges of what you are doing rational people often make decisions by comparing marginal benefits and marginal costs for example consider an airline deciding how much to charge passengers who fly standby suppose that flying a 200 seat plane across the united states cost the airline dollar Hundred thousand. In that case, average cost of each seat can be calculated as total cost, which is dollar hundred thousand, upon number of seats, which is two hundred. So it is equal to dollar five hundred. so basically average cost ac equals to dollar 500 one might be tempted to conclude that the airline should never sell a ticket for less than dollar 500 in fact a rational airline can often find ways to raise its profits by thinking at the margin imagine that a plane is about to take off with 10 empty seats and a standby passenger waiting at the gate will pay dollar 300 for a seat should the airline sell the ticket of course it should if the plane has empty seats the cost of adding one more passenger is tiny although the average cost of flying a passenger is still dollar 500 however the marginal cost the additional cost of one more passenger is merely the cost of a bag of peanuts and a can of soda that the extra passenger will consume so as long as the standby passenger pays more than the marginal cost selling the ticket is profitable as long as the standby passenger pays that is the price is more than the marginal cost selling the ticket is profitable clear we can understand this concept with the help of a numerical example so this is a numerical example 
द कंपनी दैट यू मैनेज हैज इन्वेस्टेड डॉलर फाइव मिलियन इन डेवलपिंग अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट बट द डेवलपमेंट इज नॉट क्वाइट फिनिश्ड ओके एट अ रिसेंट मीटिंग योर सेल्स पीपल रिपोर्ट दैट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंपीटिंग प्रोडक्ट हैज रिड्यूस्ड द एक्सपेक्टेड सेल्स ऑफ योर न्यू प्रोडक्ट टू डॉलर थ्री मिलियन ओके If it would cost dollar one million to finish the development and make the product, should you go ahead and do so? So I think the question is clear that you have already invested dollar five million in developing a new product, but your development is not quite finished. And at a recent meeting, your sales people have reported that due to the introduction of some competing products, it has reduced your expected sales of your new product to dollar three million. If it would cost dollar one million to finish the development and make that product, so should you go ahead? Should you make this additional investment to finish the development? The fact that you have already sunk dollar five million is not relevant to your decision anymore because that money is already gone. Sunk cost is which cannot be recovered. so that money is already gone what matters now is the chance to earn profits at the margin if you spend another dollar 1 million and can generate sales of dollar 3 million you will earn dollar 2 million in marginal profit so you should do so basically he is saying that if you incur the additional cost of finishing the development which is dollar 1 million marginal cost is dollar 1 million then your marginal revenue which is the expected sales is dollar 3 million right in that case your marginal profit which can be calculated as marginal revenue minus marginal cost so marginal revenue is dollar 3 million and marginal cost is dollar 1 million so you will earn a marginal profit of dollar 2 million marginal profit of dollar 2 million so basically you should make this additional investment of dollar 1 million to complete the development because you are earning marginal profit so option number 1 development finished if you finish the development if you make that additional investment of dollar 1 million in that case your total cost will be dollar 5 million that is your sunk cost which you have already incurred And dollar one million. That is the additional investment of uh, of uh, completing or finishing the development. So a total cost will be dollar six million. Total revenue. That means your expected sales of your new product, which is dollar three million. As you can see, that total cost is greater than total revenue. So basically, there will be a loss and it can be calculated as total cost minus total revenue so basically dollar 6 million minus dollar 3 million which is dollar 3 million just a second we are facing loss of dollar 3 million and earlier we said that we are earning marginal profit of dollar 2 million so have we made a wrong decision of finishing the development no we have absolutely taken a right decision because if we would have chosen option number 2 development not finished in that case total cost will would be dollar 5 million there would not be any additional and any additional investment right so total cost would be dollar 5 million 
but in that case total revenue would be zero because the development is not finished you have not made any new product so there will be no expected sales total revenue would have been zero loss can be calculated as tc minus tr which would have been dollar five million so you can easily see that loss in this case option number two is greater as compared to the loss in option number one so we have taken a right decision of finishing the development what matters is not the total profit but the profit you can earn at the margin what matters is not the total profit but the marginal profit because if we see that in this option when we are finishing the development when we are making this additional investment definitely we will face a loss of dollar three million but we should focus on the marginal profit and marginal profit is dollar two million that is the reason we should make this additional investment we should finish the development because we are earning marginal profit what matters is not the total profit but the marginal profit next part of this question is what is the most that you should pay to complete the development? What is the maximum amount that you can incur as an additional cost to complete the development? Because right now we are incurring dollar one million to finish the development. But what is the maximum amount that you should pay? Okay, when we were paying dollar one million as marginal cost as additional investment, we are earning marginal profit of dollar two million suppose that this dollar one million is increased to dollar two million in that case marginal profit will be dollar one million suppose that we further increase this marginal cost this additional investment to dollar three million in that case marginal profit will be dollar zero million okay again we further increase our marginal cost to dollar four million in that case marginal profit will be minus dollar one million so basically it is a marginal loss so I think that uh, we have reached the conclusion that the maximum amount that you should pay to complete the development will be dollar three million. So you should pay up to dollar three million to complete development any more than that and you will not be increasing profit at the margin marginal decision making can help explain some otherwise puzzling economic phenomena here is a classic question why is water so cheap while diamonds are so expensive water is essential but the marginal benefit the additional benefit of an extra cup is small because water is plentiful water is already available in large quantity that is the reason the additional benefit the marginal benefit of an extra cup is small by contrast no one needs diamonds to survive but because diamonds are so rare people consider the marginal benefit the additional benefit of an extra diamond to be large therefore people are willing to pay much more for a diamond than for a cup of water
कॉन्क्लूजन और रैशनल डिसीजन मेकर टेक्स एन एक्शन इफ एंड ओनली इफ मार्जिनल बेनिफिट ऑफ द एक्शन एक्सीड्स द मार्जिनल कॉस्ट क्लियर थैंक यू